In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best alternatives to Bolt.new. So I actually really like Bolt.new, but there are plenty of other alternatives, so it's always a good idea to look at them all. First of all, we're going to look at the ones online that you can use that are similar to Bolt that you use in your browser, and then we'll look at the ones that you need to download. My favorite one is like the first one that I'll show you that you need to download. That's my favorite alternative, but I also do still really like Bolt as well. So to have a look at these different AI code editors, we'll just I just wrote out a prompt here, get ChatGPT to write me the full prompt to write. So I'm going to copy that out and let's test them all out to see how they do. So the first alternative I have is called Lovable. Dev. I saw someone else using this uh, in another video and actually it really, really looked good. When I used this before, it came in a lot of errors and stuff. So let's just see how it works with this and see how we get on. Okay, so this is how it looks. They all look fairly similar, I suppose. This is my prompt here on the left and I can ask for my change. I can just text whatever it is I want to do. So this is pretty cool here. The the loading screen here I like the way you can see what all the things that it's doing right so one cool thing is also that it's connected to super base right so this is a database right so often for your apps you might need to store information stuff like that so really really cool too i think bolt is also getting this integration soon so before we actually go on any longer is like i don't actually know a lot about coding i'm learning how to code you can watch other videos about how i'm learning how to code so this really is a uh, you know from someone who doesn't know how to code right so we'll get on to the ones that are best for coders at the end but really this tutorial is for people like me who are beginners at this okay so what i actually asked was to get a uh, calculate the roi of ai agents so ChatGPT wrote all this for me and let's see what lovable can do okay so we got our website here um yeah this was the colors i wanted it's got a flashing button here which is quite interesting so yeah not exactly what i would have expected out of a website to look like this but i guess that's quite interesting at least it didn't air out so it's got the cost implementation the monthly savings okay it looks pretty cool i definitely don't like this but anyway let's just try this with bolt and see what we can do so one of the things i like the best about bolt is this deploy because you can just deploy things with netlify so if you're like into seo and stuff like that like i am then it's really cool to just have a website done and then i can just integrate it into my wordpress or just have it as a standalone website okay so this is the calculator that we got from bolt is a little bit different right the way it's done Okay, it's got your total savings, a little bit different, but similar as well. So you can see they're quite similar, right? This is why I prefer Bolt uh, to this Lovable so far. I guess if you want something with a database, then you might want to go to Lovable. If you want to just deploy something quickly, then Bolt is good. So getting on to the ones that developers use more, it's uh, so getting on to the ones that developers use more, there is GitHub Copilot. Okay, I haven't used that one myself. I use a cursor and windsurf so a cursor is pretty cool you can do lots of stuff with this it you know you do need to learn a little bit more about coding and you know all these little thing extra things you need to do you know but it's quite easy to use as well i prefer this one here it's called windsurf okay it's by codium i'll leave links to all of these down below right so this is what it looks like right and you type your prompt in here so this one, what I really like about that, you know, with cursor, you have to go and, you know, install all this like extra stuff. You know, there's all these steps that you kind of have to keep installing, installing. With this one, Windsurf seems to do all that for you, right? It seems to take over your computer and just like, okay, you need this uh, reho re repo from GitHub or something it goes and gets it for you. So, you know, it's kind of that one click thing similar to bolt.new. Okay, so this was the first click result from Windsurf. Yeah, like I think that looks really cool, to be honest. <laughs> looks really cool. Obviously, you can make changes. You wouldn't want it maybe full width or something like that, but the design looks really, really cool. So you can see that they're, you know, all slightly similar, but, you know, slightly different at the same time. Okay, and the last tool I have for you is this one, Marbleism. I use this one a few times as well and it works quite well as well so worth testing out as well so if you want to learn how to add bolt on new websites to wordpress well i'll leave a video up above that you can watch now 